This is Surfshark, and this is NordVPN. Surfshark definitely wins on the branding here, and in two other key areas that I'll be discussing in this video. But overall, I believe that NordVPN is the better VPN. I'm confident in making this claim because I've used both VPNs for years now, and I've run them through a gauntlet of tests with my team. And you know, VPN reviewers really like to complicate things with technical jargon and details that really don't matter to most of us. My guess is that most of you watching this Surfshark vs NordVPN video really just want to know a few things. Which VPN is easier to use and has a better design? Which VPN gives you the fastest speed? Which VPN unblocks the content you want to watch so that you can go back to watching Rick and Morty on Netflix? Because they still have it in Australia, you know. And which VPN is cheaper? Stick around and see why NordVPN wins in some, but not all areas. And when you make up your mind, you can click the link in the video description to get a killer discount. It'll also help support my research and trying to save up for a Lambo here. All right, the first reason that I like NordVPN over Surfshark is because of its interface. NordVPN offers a map of servers. It's simple to use, it's fast, and I don't have to scroll through a list of countries I don't care about. I just slide over to Japan, connect, and start watching The Office on Netflix. Although, point to Surfshark. It still offers server favoriting. Nord did away with this small but helpful feature years ago. Surfshark is available in more countries, although it has fewer servers overall. If you need to connect to Africa or the Middle East, you'll find more options with Surfshark. But for most European and North American users, NordVPN is going to give you access to all the countries you need. And the higher server count means you're less likely to experience server congestion. Nord's design feels very modern to me, whereas Surfshark feels a year or two behind. And if you ask me which of the two apps is consistently buggier, I'd have to say Surfshark. Both of these VPNs allow you to connect using the WireGuard protocol, which is really the modern standard that any fast VPN should use. Nord also has Nord Links, which is built on WireGuard, and they claim it's a little better. Both of these VPNs allow for split tunneling, which basically means you can route some of the apps through the VPN and have others connect directly. This impacts your speed, of course. Now, if you're new to VPNs, you might think that Nord's higher server count will lead to faster results, which is not necessarily true. A lot of factors impact the speed you experience, and server count isn't necessarily one of them. But in this case, Nord is faster than Surfshark. We ran over 50 speed tests between Nord and Surfshark in five different countries, and we found that NordVPN came out as faster overall. That said, Surfshark exhibited lower latencies, and this matters to gamers who know that every millisecond counts. Surfshark also has more dedicated gaming servers. If you're using a VPN to gain an advantage in Warzone or to get around a region lock in Steam, then you want to consider Surfshark. If you're not a gamer, Nord's overall speed makes it a better choice. Nord is also my top pick for content unblocking. To test this, we focused on Netflix because its libraries vary greatly depending on your location. The truth is, you don't really need a VPN for a lot of these streaming platforms. Amazon Prime, for instance, has the same content catalog globally. In our testing, we wanted to see if Netflix had found a way to block Nord or Surfshark, and as you can see from our data, they haven't. That said, we ran into some issues using Surfshark to access Netflix in Canada. The Netflix library was limited, mostly just showing Netflix originals that are available in every country. But the bottom line is that both of these VPNs are darn good at unblocking content, and there really isn't much difference between them. Surfshark definitely positions itself heavily as a streaming VPN, but I'd say that's mostly just marketing. Both of these VPNs are top shelf streaming options. Now here's the real dirty secret about VPNs. Most people probably don't need one, at least not for the privacy features that VPN companies like to advertise. Using a VPN to stop your internet provider from spying on you is kind of silly. I mean, do you really think that Verizon cares about your obsession with Taylor Swift and Travis Kels? Probably not. That said, there are times when using a VPN can add a layer of privacy, like when you're on public Wi-Fi. Both Surfshark and NordVPN do a good job of providing this, as you can see from their feature list. Both VPNs are on RAM-based servers, meaning that if a corrupt government were to take over the company, they're not even storing your data in the first place. Where Nord really stands out is in offering an Onion over VPN protocol, which allows you to use Tor easily. Surfshark doesn't do this. That might not matter to everyone, but for those of us who want the most robust privacy options, Nord wins here. Now on to what we've all been waiting for, pricing. I'll keep this simple. Nord costs slightly more, but at under $4 a month, it's not gonna break the bank. And you're getting a better interface, faster speed, content unblocking that's on par with Surfshark, and better privacy features. The one area where Surfshark really wins is on price, so for those of you on a budget, just know that you can get a plan for under three bucks a month. Once again, there are links in the video description which will lower these prices even further. For me, I think NordVPN has better qualities and features, but you may not agree, and that's fine. Either of these VPNs is a good choice, and you can't make a bad decision here. So just go ahead and pick one.